In today's video, I'm going to show you how to go about cutting your patches quickly, efficiently, and most important is cost effective. Now this method of cutting can be done if you are embroidering anywhere between, let's say one to maybe 48 patches, okay? Because everything is manual. We are going to use our scissors, okay? Good old fashioned scissors to cut our patches. Now, once you start going to the higher numbers, 100, 500, okay, patches, then you might want to use a different method. For example, laser, okay? And of course, not everybody has a laser or a cutter, so that's a good time to start outsourcing patches. Usually when we do patches, we usually do anywhere between 12, 24, 36 patches. Anytime we start going to the higher numbers, then we have access to embroiders that have specialty equipment for those high, high numbers. So let's go ahead. I have my GoPro right here. Let's get that overhead view and let's get into the details of cutting patches. Okay, we are on the drawing board here and let me give you an overview of exactly our game plan for today's patches. Okay, so I'm making this running stitch bigger than what it really is, just so you can see it. Okay, and our plan is with our Fiskars, okay? So the cool thing about this Fiskars, as you can see, it's not straight, it's a little curved. It's gonna play a big role when we're going around and we're cutting. I'm not cutting these placement stitch, I'm cutting around the placement stitch. If you've seen my previous video, then you've seen how the way I set it up, okay? But I'll have the link down below, just in case you wanna see that video once again. The main materials, what I use, okay? Very simple when I do patches. I have the twill and I have the cutaway. And I also have the adhesive. Okay, so first thing, you could just make your large cuts okay you're not in the detail phase yet and usually if you're cutting a lot of patches you'll just do this okay real quick stack them up okay we are zoomed in now just so you could get a good view on how I go about cutting it okay so all you want to do, okay, let me see if you get a good view. All right, each cut, you just want to make sure we are close to that running stitch, okay? And the good thing about these scissors is that they cut all the way to the tip, all right? You don't want to get to the tip just because the scissors will close on you and you have to readjust your scissors, okay? By just doing these smooth cuts as such, you get smooth cuts, okay? There are products out there. If you have a hard time uh, zooming into and looking at a good view, there are magnifying glasses, big ones that you could zoom in. Also, what helps is having good lighting. Okay, good lighting will help you see your stitches. Then this last cut, you just want to make sure you're smooth, okay? This one was a little fuzzy, okay? So, okay, came out good. Now we have a couple fuzzies out here. The way we take care of these fuzzies that we got here on the side, okay, just old-fashioned lighter. 
Now since this is polyester twill, aka poly twill, when you apply just a little bit of this lighter, these little fuzzies just disappear. Okay. So now, look at that. Nowhere to be found. You can probably do two circle rounds with the lighter and that should be sufficient. Okay. So let's see this. Okay. Look at that, smooth. All right, so we are looking good here. And once you have all your patches ready to cut, then you're doing this quickly, okay? You're just knocking them out one by one, one after another. Okay, so we are at the heat press now. Okay, we have our dad hat, Yupong. Okay, so let's just take off the packaging right here. And, okay, so we have our patch and our hat ready to go. Okay, so first thing, just wanna, wanna go ahead and line up our hat temperature wise. I have 330 on top and 320 on the bottom. We're going to test our pressure. Now we have two types of paddings. Okay, this one's actually, this gray one is actually extra, it didn't come with it. I've been using these white ones. I want our pressure to be between six and seven. So I'm just gonna do two, two quick turns. We should be good there, plus the patch. Okay, so we got our patch. All right, we're gonna peel it off. Okay, you can see all the stickiness right here. A lot of stickiness. Okay, so the hat's warm already. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and just center it. Once it warms up, easier for it to stay in place okay so I got it going for 50 seconds right. actually I'm gonna put 55 okay let's take it down all right let's All right, we are all good right here. Look at this. So, let's get into the light a little. Okay, so let's get a closer look. Look at that. There is zero gaps. Okay, so you can already tell we are locked in. All right, I wanna thank you for hanging out with me today. Till next time. Peace out.